Hi, this is Dave Hompez from www.h-pylori-symptoms.com and uh, we're going to today just a uh, very, very quick video, hopefully no more than two or three minutes, just to talk about um, something that seems a bit weird and backward, uh, which is that most people take antacid medications like Nexium and Prilosec and Prevacid and Zantac, Tums, Gaviscon, all these different brand names um, because they have heartburn and reflux and um, uh, the assumption there is that the heartburn and reflux is being caused by too much stomach acid being in the stomach and coming back up into the throat and esophagus. Now, I'm here to say that in a lot of cases, that is not actually what happens. In actual fact, many people get heartburn because they do not have enough acid in their digestive tract. And the way that works is as follows. If you do not have enough acid in your stomach, and statistically, it seems as though people over the age of 30 or 35 tend to have a decline in stomach acid levels. Well, if you don't have enough stomach acid in your digestive tract, you can't digest your food properly, okay? You can't break your food down. So if you have a heavy meal, your food just sits there in your stomach, and it's pretty warm in there. It's about 37 and a half degrees centigrade. So I don't know if you were on a beach in Thailand or you left your uh, carton of milk next to a hot radiator, it wouldn't take very long for that milk to start to go off and, uh, uh, and start to putrefy and bubble up and cause all kinds of smelly gases and things like that. And in actual fact, that is exactly what happens in people's digestive tract. So if you don't have enough acid, and you can't break down your food properly, it's gonna putrefy, it's gonna give off gases, and you are gonna to start to get the sensation of everything burning while it's sitting in there. Now, if you have those symptoms, the first thing that most doctors will do is they will prescribe you medications which will actually shut the acid down even more. So you're actually making the problem worse Okay, it's not going to help anything. It's going to shut your digestive system down even more. It's going to cause a backup. It might cause constipation. You might, your body might start to flood your digestive tract with water to try and help it out, which might cause diarrhea. There's going to be bloating. You're going to provide a whole new set of food for other bugs to feed on, which increases your chances of growing other digestive infections. Okay, and so. Uh, to start with, initially, if you have heartburn, you may have something like Helicobacter pylori infection. Helicobacter pylori is known to reduce the amount of acid that your stomach produces as well. So what we have is this, this move towards reducing acid, reducing acid, reducing acid, when all the time, what you need to do is actually get to the root cause of what was causing uh, the issue in the first place. And in some cases, that's not enough acid. In some cases, it's H. pylori. And in some cases, it's foods that you're eating irritating in the digestive tract, okay? So I'm not saying that every individual case, so your case is the same as the next person who watches this video, but I can guarantee you because I've seen it happen, I've seen it with my own eyes and my own ears from clients I've worked with, that sometimes if they take acid supplements, all their, all their supposed high acid symptoms go away, which sounds backward, but it's not. It's because they had low acid to start with and the antacid medications are gonna make things worse. So if you're in a situation where you're taking these medications and nothing's improving, it's really important to start to look for the root cause of the problem. And that's gonna be a digestive infection like H. pylori, maybe a yeast and fungal overgrowth, or other problems with you not being able to digest your food properly. If you want further information, please go to uh, my website. We've got tons of information about this kind of thing on there. It's www h-pylori-symptoms.com. I hope this has been helpful. My name is Dave Hompez and uh, I hope to see you next time.